Hey, are you subscribed to the channel? Well, it turns out 73% of you who watch these videos are not. So if you're part of that 73%, please subscribe down below. It's free and it helps me out a ton. Thanks. Expressive iteration tilting me by never finding land. Oof. That is the true nightmare. I already hate this deck. I hate more than I think I'm supposed to keep this on the draw. Obscure Charm is, I, it, it continues to prove to me to be rather unimpressive, but I think it's a situation where, like, it's probably okay. No, no, don't tell me we queued right into the mirror. Ooh, they have a better looking Thoughtseize than us. We're doomed. Absolutely doomed. Hey, looks like we crossed 200 people over on the Discord. Moto is protesting a lack of Esper Grease Fang. What? I don't know what Grease Fang has done to create such diehard people, but I gotta tell you, it's, it's not the truth. Welcome, welcome. Oh, you might be getting your, uh, your wish. This looks like some Esper Grease Fang to me. So many cards just always seem clunky when a vehicle wouldn't. That is true. Yeah. Well, Grease Fang. Here you go. We get to play against Esper Grease Fang. You get, you get everything you've ever wanted and more. Little boat. <laughs> all right. You ever just, uh, just dump all of your spells in the graveyard so you can't get thoughts used? Is that the tech? Am I, like, missing it? Crab zombies. If you want to tap out for a creature on turn 3 to hit your OP for 13, there's a much better deck available in the format. No, no. We don't do that here. Don't do that here. So... Their hand is 3 lands. Priest won't do much for us. I think we just want to hold this up. Prop bet if you lose the match, you stop and play uh, Asper Grease Fang. Uh, that seems like a prop bet that I can't win. I'd rather see an Asika's Chariot build. The rat exists. That is the greatest compliment I can give it. We have a priest. How was this for Flash? It actually performed pretty well. We end up losing a really close one to uh, a really close one to um, one day. One day my brain will work. A really close one to Mono Blue Spirits, but otherwise performed really well. We got under all the decks we sort of were aiming to get under. They're going to cast a Tainted Indulgence, or consider, sure. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, Tainted Indulgence. I'm surprised I haven't seen a pack rate in this format. We actually just played a pack rat deck the other day. Uh, Sir Ackles just posted an update in the chat. I think uh, a couple changes would be just like changing the mana base a little, toning down some of the pips at the higher end, trimming down on Obscura Charms, things like that. There you go. Yeah, we played a pack rat deck last week and then it evolved into just like a normal Jun mid-range deck after. It was a sweet one. Where are these going? Soren, us? Sure. Thorn down. Hmm. I want to kill this.
Do it instance feed. Kill this, then invoke. One greasy lad. You know, they have four cards and a Parhelion in hand. Little ledge. Ledger Shredder plus Cruise. How rude. Ledger Shredder has looked impressive, though, from watching Kane play. Let's gear to that Grease Fang. I mean, they could just have land another one. Sure. Game two. Sometimes it do be like that. Now it's just grass, go blanks. Yeah. Thought seizes and priests. First actually hits a uh, Parhelion. Want that. Trespasser's good. Redain and Archon are kind of fine. Pushes are only okay. I'd rather have duresses. You need some number of uh some number of those for a uh, ledger shredder. The sand certainly dies to a lot of things. It's much better. Clean answers to a uh, Grass, sure. Clean answers to Parhelion. Tough to come by. I don't get to see what we drew. It's fine. One white, one black. I think this tainted indulgence. Yep. Consider. Kept on top. We're in danger. Land Shredder opt. Yeah, Ledger Shredders looked very impressive in this deck. Especially in uh Pioneer versus uh Explorer. Oops, so they just kept consider. Good job. Gotta play this. I mean, this is fine. All right, well, still just a two four. Well, game's going better. We have pretty effectively gotten ourselves in a good spot. As long as we untap here, feel very confident.
just get to hold up this D spark. They uh, don't do anything too interesting. We can just draw a card. No more. Yeah, two lands. Fine. We're also at 30. We'll make it tougher for them to ever kill us without the Parhelion. Yeah, Grease Swing's fine. We just don't want to ever put our shields down here until we have lethal. This'll this will deal six when we need it to. Yep. There's Parhelion. I'd like to draw land. Two draws at a land. Miss. Could just get Parhelion here. But we kind of just beat Parhelion, so that's fine. <laughs> Even though we just invoke them. Looks like we're gonna get a game three. Get the full uh full look at the prop bet. Well D Sparks, some go blanks. Gotta take invoke, I'm guessing. Yeah, takes Invoke, plays Grease Fang. And then we just stand up our... Uh, they have two blockers, we just stand up our land. They have to kill the Wandering Emperor. It's fine. I'll take nine. Alright, Trespasser. Get you dead in a turn or two. I could just pass. I was thinking about go blanking them, but I'd rather just hold up D Spark here. Can do both next turn, but this trespasser will just rain them out and then we can get around them with the hive. Little shredder. Is it faithful? Well, it does put a small dent in our plan to the degree of this, but fine. Let's exile that. Use two removal spells, odds of a third, not unlikely. Hmm. Getting much better for us if we don't just attack here, but I feel like we can reasonably wait, still be in good shape. Getting rid of Pierce and Parhalion. Draw another card. I'll get 
there and we get there. Second hive is not bad. One invoke, please. Is Dovin's veto. All right, well. Drowsy Crab. I mean, they have a, uh, they have a removal spell with their last card. Veto removal spell, or we die. Okay, we don't die. <laughs> Game three. March is probably unlikely to ever kill. Hmm. Tide makes it merge so much better, does it? Cast the spell, you may return to Raven. Very well, might. I'm not as well versed in, in Legacy or uh, cards in there, to be honest, but it could be true. All right, sounds pretty good. All right. What you taking? Discard with Skull Tide and Sack the Crab to merge? True. Take Wandering Emperor. Interesting. Take Mending. We really just don't want them to cast both halves of it, to be honest. Okay, I guess that was that'd have been a rough one if they just uh pitched Parhelion. At least get Grease Fang because I didn't leave up a uh, white mana. Let's kill this lad. No Parhelions in the yard, huh? Alright, Celeste this up. Mending. Alright, boat. One boat. We'll go blank. The Joe blank, if you will. Pitched Grease Fang. So either have another Grease Fang or they're not that worried about casting Grease Fang here. Indulgence, sure. No Perhelion. We just do this for value? I think we do. Deal six, draw three. About the best we can do there. All right, so you get one of these. Just board four with a rune stone for these kids. No need.
All right, we'll pass to turn into night so we get a loot. Ooh, a couple of good ones here. Well, cruise is a pain, but that's okay. All right, they're on a three turn clock. The shredder. Both of these do the same thing. This lets us hit the uh, the grease fang. All our Esper grease fang fans might be uh might be feeling it as we in fact defeat Esper grease fang here. Well, the same is not quite it. It's a lot better. If uh, if priest is good, this hand's very good. I think we'll get rid of an Aganjo. Oh, we're we up against Winota. Brackwater Elementals on Earth affects this. Now I know what it's like when uh, when other people talk magic, or when I talk to magic to them. I have no idea what that card is or does. Voice. All right, let's see. Hopefully they don't have a uh, Brutal Cathar here. This might just be Green White Hate Bears. I did see that deck recently. We're never blocking. Imagine if it is just Green White Hate Bears or both gonna play an Archon of Maria here. No. Stop. Uh, Still could be green white hay bears, but we might be in trouble if they play a red source and then Winota here. Oh, tap lands interesting for us. Push doesn't really help us much. Uh, I have an Archon. That is how that works, huh? Still might die. Very likely to die to a Winota here. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, them having the Brutal Cathar for that Priest is tough, especially since they're on double voice, so we just ended up Playing it at sorcery speed. Okay, okay. This fatal push is looking real embarrassing here. 
All right. Grasp. Cletus. Conqueror's Death. D Spark. On all of those, don't want Redain. Rin's not great. All right. We had the things we needed. We just needed not to get a uh, our priest taken there, or just to find a uh, a removal spell that killed Brutal Cathar. It'll push, like I said, it's a little awkward in this deck without more ways to turn on. Uh... It's a little awkward, but. It has everything we want. Peter out here reminding me that Archon of Maria has text on it. Couldn't be. A good one. No elf. Yeah, Archon of Maria, very good into Winota, just out of the basis that their entire deck enters tapped. Double Elf Hand, not bad for them, but... And they could just have a uh, Brutal Cathar here, but... <clears throat> Catharing this is fine. Kind of have to take Emperor, I think. These are both just still castable. Yep. Locked Wayne will do a good job for us, I hope. Can't play both. Hate to see it. And play priest. Well, three ones will do good work. We'll pass. We will probably vanishing verse one of these spellbinders. Just trade off here. Keeper, sure. Yeah, we get to hit their artifact. Nice, nice. We'll despair them next turn. Let's make some some creatures. Shambling event actually looks very good on this board, just like a 2-3 to put in front of things. I'll block, fine. And sure. You only draw one because they have a treasure. Okay. 
Chose not to sack it. Fair. All right, we just got this board stable now. It's just a matter of, yeah. The only thing that would have been tough is Hunt Master, but after that, we're pretty good. Artifacts in the category? Oh, it's land, planeswalker, uh, enchantment. You're right. Or creature, not land. Brain. There we go. Okay, well, that worked out a lot better for us. Turns out when our priests live. Probably worth playing this over uh, one of these. Especially on the draw, we can name human. Clean up the board. All right, well, this is the definition of a uh, mid-range hand. They're in a mold of five. They lead on elf, they're gonna be in trouble. We need to find a Kalidus or something to cl try and close this game out, but not a bad one. New Capenna Urbrask, pretty good actually. I I like it. I just wish we could find a home for it. It's it's that type of card that's powerful, but just never has a home. Ask and you shall receive. Vanishing Verse kind of sauce against Cavalier. Yeah, I've actually Vanishing Verse has moved up my my consideration quite a bit just from the the presence of Winota decks and uh, and. Uh, Cavalier. Huh. Yeah, we'll take the Winota. More Thoughtsies. Mocha's command, huh? All right, spellbinder gone. Hopefully, we just get to drop this next turn. <laughs> they just—they're good. All right, opponent mode to four. That's how we're hoping to beat a Moshing Panda, I guess. What are we doing here? One Moshing Panda. I'm gonna play Basic Swamp in case they just were like trying to get information and then concede. Doubt they will. But that is the old tech, is like you mold a four, keep a, keep a hand that doesn't do anything. Ooh, mono red, huh? We're actually great into mono red, I think, with the sand, which is nice. Tough, because if it is mono red, playing the trios event, uh... Which trios event? Is there a trios event at Dallas? Oh, the uh, TJ's trios event. No, I'm not playing the, the TJ's one. I have wedding stuff going on that weekend. Yeah, no, I can't go to that one. Wedding stuff going on. Family's coming in from out of town, so we have to host them. Otherwise, I would. Yeah, that's the thing about the trios events. They're always hype. Uh, they're always a bit of a scramble. One on top. That can't be good for us. Is 
the Chandra. Yep. Well, this does do some things. All right, I would like to play this card that KO is mono red, please. Valkamira, the shield. Taxes you, makes all your things deal less damage. It's really just a beautiful card against mono red. Hope you guys do well, though. Go kill it. Enjoy your Valorant match. <laughs> you have to pay a mana to get a mana here. Yeah, this card is borderline unbeatable for mono red. It's like actually full taxes them in every direction. All right. Back your planeswalker. You're in I would say this game's going pretty well. Yeah, we kind of hit all of the cards we want to see in game one against Mono Red, against our opponent's Molda 4. Even Soren will be good here at just being able to make sure we don't ever get chased down for our life total. Light of the stage, another awkward card into Archon. Yeah, whoever designed this deck definitely was like, I want to beat up a Mono Red and probably Winota. I feel like that had to be a pretty big impetus for the deck. Belitus. Dane, Duress over Thoughtseize. Priest is not very good. What do we want instead of Priest? It doesn't really seem like which is Vengeance is the play. I mean, they're going to board in Planeswalkers, so D-Spark and one Elspeth Conquers Death's fine. Like, usually the game plan from this kind of deck post-board is just go a little bigger. So we'll also go a tiny bit bigger, but we want to make sure we don't log our hand. These two cards are quite good, but... And it's much better. Pitch a D-Spark, since again, it's it's more speculative than necessarily good. Kumano is the card we least want to see here. Ooh, Invoke. Chalk that up for will be good in 40 turns. Well, there's Kamano. Light up finds a one drop that'll get bigger, but we just get to kill it. So that's fine. I mean, we could just kill Kamano. I actually don't mind that. I'm a big fan of just kill the Kamano and then they just have a one two, as opposed to the two two and. A 2-3, or just a 2-2. Two, two. My goodness, why is Magic Online has been absolutely terrible for me since the latest set came out? All right, we have a game plan, but we're going to need to stay alive for a hot minute. All right, that'll help. 
we have some tension in our mana base. Love to draw an Urborg so we can do it all, but... Well, well this Invoke Despair hits all three of the permanents on play right now, but that's not a guarantee. Exile Sakenzen, sure, sure. Karizev. All right, so this is four black. I think we are going to need to do this, so I think we just have to play Soren and be unhappy about it. We'd much rather play Wandering Emperor here, but... I think we just are sort of priced into Invoke Despair being the way we catch up here. Yeah, Quad Black turns out more difficult to cast than expected. I guess not than expected, but just in general. Lava Coil, my thing. Bad for us. We're out of cards, though. All right, so we're going to get one, two, three, not draw any cards. And they're probably going to fire up Den. <laughs> Exotic pets. Yeah, the art's really nice on that card, for sure. Uh, Eidolon protects Kamano. Yeah. Creature Enchantment Planeswalker. Alright, we're going to take a bunch. I need to draw another Invoke here. Take four, seven, ten. Might, yeah, that might not even be enough. I think we're, I think we're dead. What kind of counters can we put on creatures? Uh, you can put menace counters, you can put flying counters, you can put unblockable counters, yeah, trample counters, flying counters. Ikoria sort of uh, introduced a lot of different counters we can put on creatures. Plus one, plus one counters. Yep, Ikoria added a bunch of those kind of cards. I'll take the play. Keep this on the back of having two of our best cards, but being a little sad that uh might be tricky to cast them. The Ganjo will probably work as our turn three play. How did Esper Flash go? We went three two. We lost a, a really tight match to uh Mana Blue uh and got pretty beat up by um Mono red fires. But overall it went pretty well. We got under a bunch of decks and were able to, to kill them pretty cleanly. But the mono blue one was the close one. Where they just ended up getting two uh curious obsessions and, and riding into victory. Yeah, probably just getting yep, stomp is fine. Ooh. 
Vanishing Griff isn't bad. We'll just take the one. See what they're going to do here. Moto, please. All right, there we go. All right, take one. Real to ever was. Jensen's first in the graveyard. Maybe discard one or more cards. Draw that many cards. Ah, yes. I remember that card. That's another neat one. Take one. Take one, take two. Draw one swamp at some point in the near future. Valkmira, it's your time to shine. Now, if we draw a swamp, we're in great shape. If not, we're just putting this castle art and veil to work. Chandra, yep. Take two, which is actually take one. All right. Only three. So you, I'll just get rid of this. I really just don't want them to use the other plus ability to just start drawing cards. No, no, that won't do. Water Red just seems so well positioned at the moment, both in Explorer and Pioneer. I think it's a lot better in, in Pioneer than in uh, Explorer at the moment. That's mostly just due to uh, the amount of Winota that exists in Explorer and Red Black mid range. Yeah, Mono Red's a solid deck for sure right now. It does struggle into into Winota is the big problem. And the, the Mono Green matchup's very close. I have heard it argued quite a bit both both ways, but it is close enough that it's an argument, I suppose, is I guess the, the best thing I can say about it. Redain turns on uh a ganjo for two. But yeah, I definitely have mono red put in a, a good place overall in the meta right now. Definitely had a good weekend this weekend compared to the last couple. Ooh. Hot spice. Crystalline giant. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, that's a ton of interesting different counters at random. You were the critics. Oh, that's only going to deal two. Oh, definitely commander usable, hundred percent. Another invoke. That shambling vent's gonna do a good job of closing out this game, I think. 
Swifty, sure. Can I actually block the Swift Spear with our O1? Nice. Just keep chaining them. Ooh. Like all these things. Time commander just go hog wild and put very strange old counters like sand counters. Sound counter sand counters is a neat one. Uh, Skycat Sovereign? I think I vaguely remember that card. It's certainly been a minute. Time to shamble on in. I can't remember the last time I brought a shambling vent to the table. I remember playing it at Grand Prix Indianapolis a long time ago. It's plus one plus one for each other creature control with flying. Create a 1-1 one, one catbird with flying. Definitely good if you're able to pump the man into it. Flying banner, but still only two drop. True. I want to say uh, there's a couple spirits cards that are good banners for flying. We can just block this because this only deals two. So no need to even use the fatal push. The reason Redain isn't attacking? Because it has zero power. It is a zero one thanks to uh Soul Scar Mage. Yeah, Ozalot seems like a good one. Oh, that's no problem. Alright, we're up to three no. On the draw. I keep this hand. Any land really turns it on, and we can pitch a Wandering Emperor. Well, now I feel a little dumb, but that's okay. Yeah, and usually there's a lot fewer creatures. That's fair. Deck is basically standard. It's true. It really is. All right, so we are going. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I hate that it does this. I hate that Magic Online does that, because now they can, uh... Now they can, uh, Geist Snare us. Oh, they just didn't have it? Okay. Yeah, it just auto-tappered us there. Because ideally we just want to be able to, to slam that before it's in play so they can't Geist Snare us. It's just that uh, it's the same thing with um, I press F8 and F8 doesn't actually work with um, a variety of cards that uh, get cheaper. Like Mystical Dispute's one of them. Spain quality. Truly one of the great keybinds of our generation. I love that that's just built into MTGO bot. All right, any lands in chat? No. Blessed as it is. Now we're able to Wandering Emperor, but it might be a little late, but they're only on two mana. They know.
Maybe the spell pierce heard around the world, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of monocolored decks in the format right now. Just sort of in general. This takes out two power. Given they're stuck on mana, taking out the tackle geist works a little better, I think. They're gonna kill Wandering Emperor either way. Then we hopefully dis devote, uh, invoke Despair them, clean up their board a little. Uh, maybe? But like, the thing is that uh, Shacklegeist is very difficult for us to answer, but I guess with Ward, probably not. Could be. Curious Obsession. Well, we get to hit that. Certainly prove difficult if they uh, have any interaction with this. Ooh, March is fantastic. I would like this to resolve. Oh, they're sacrificing? So they should sack the, atten the attendant spirit since it. Well, I guess that gets us two draws instead of one, so maybe they don't. Yeah. Oh no, it's still in the battlefield when that happens. Interesting. So now we'll get to uh, March the Lord. Odd sentence, now that I've said it out loud. Alright, three lands. Doesn't get cleaned up till SPAs are checked? That makes sense. That does make sense. The joys of SBAs. It's a good land. Fun fact about me, I also was a level 2 judge for a long time, and I will say dumb things, but when, uh, when you type SBAs, it all just makes sense. What about layers? Yeah, I can do that trick too. I do know my way around the layers. Would like to loot. Extra creature in the bin. Hey, we did it. It's a game number two. Especially because the old uh, RTR sets, which I used to draft a lot, had a ton of uh, ton of things that dealt with uh, with swapping power toughness. You had to learn the uh, power toughness layer. I accidentally unequipped a creature earlier as it had lethal damage on it without the PT boost. Oof. Oof. That That's always an oof, but it happens to the best of us. <clears throat> Not much you can do about it, though. It's one of those things that'll, that'll catch you every once in a while, but you hope it just doesn't happen too often. Yeah, with Reconfigure, too, that's uh, one that'll happen. It's like, oh, I'll just turn this back into a creature. You're like, oh. Really popular popper deck that's did the swapping thing. Yeah, the there was a couple cards in in Return to Ravnica that if you targeted them, you could switch, or if you cast a spell, you could switch, or you could do. There was a spell that actually switched. So a lot of stuff that came from that set ended up in in a lot of those decks that wanted to switch power toughness. I remember that set fondly. We did so many dorm drafts of it. 
We just go down to the local store, buy a box, everyone get three packs for ten dollars, then we'd rare redraft. Those evolved to doing shark drafts where everyone brings four packs. You put one pack into the middle for each person. So then uh, the rare redraft also included two rebuys into the next shark draft. Those are really fun when prepping for big events. P3 with the flash deck, sad. Hate to see it. Lofty's a pain, but Icon's much harder for us to beat. There we go. Had something in my throat. Outstando, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. I feel like flashing in Rail Chains here is like if we just have a fatal push, this turns really bad for them really fast. Maybe they just have to turn the corner. I think we lead on Trespasser because we really don't care if it gets countered. Yeah. And like I said, I think they're just snap lofting anything we put in the stack there. Reads like they have another counter spell, which is probably bad, but we're not we're not going anywhere fast, so I think we gotta just keep chugging along. Okay, we can play this and still have Invoke. So I guess we should just play the plane, the planes if we were gonna do that. Yep, Spell Pierce. Another Rattle Chains, all right, well. We're gonna take five. Yeah, they'll play the land so they can draw a card. Take five, then we kill probably this, ooh. Actually, that's much better. Make it 2-3. Two, 2-3 three. Two, three Flying Life Linker does wonders on this board. They get to draw a card, which is bad for us, but... The fact that Soren's already in play does do quite a lot for us, as long as this isn't a Lord or a Bounce spell. All right, what does a Lord do? <laughs> that was the exact two cards that kill us. Yeah, okay. The uh, an oof. All right, game three. The, the exact two cards we didn't want to see there, but so it goes. Yeah, not much we were going to do to get out of that. I think we, we put ourselves in the best position to win that game, just a matter of needing them not to, to find a pair of cards on a pair of draw steps. Because even if they just find, like, Lord Land, they attack, we trade with the Rattle Chains, or we just eat the 2-2. Uh, the <laughs> Go to 2, make another... 2-3, and then invoke. Oh, uh, this hand is... It's so mediocre. But both of these cards are good, plus a Thoughtseize. Keep it on the back of being able to strip their hand, hopefully. All right, I see Double Phantom, Spectral Sailor, Geist Snare. Two threes will be good here. How so many twos? Take the one, or we can take the Phantom. I'm gonna take a Phantom. Hope we rip a, a fatal push or something to that effect. 
Arch is halfway to the Fatal Push. I'll happily exile the Wandering Emperor. <clears throat> Their hand's good against what we're doing now. Man, I'm not sure what's up with my throat now. It's just dying on me. It really is. All right, drop the lords. All right, I'd love to naturally draw land here. I mean, still counts. I mean, they could just play the snare. Well, that was a good mystery draw, because now they can hold this up. I would take a tap land even here, as long as it's a white tap land. Ugh. Not the draw you want to see. I actually don't think they had to do this. Mono Blue Spirits is good. It's It just won a challenge this weekend. That's a good one for sure. Witch's Vengeance off the top. Alright, Lander Witch's Vengeance were the best ones for us. Let's just kill this. Need to draw a Black Source into Witch's Vengeance. This comes here, these come here. Surprise we left in so much top end against the deck with a uh, couple expensive cards and keeping Thoughtsies in. The problem is like they end up cutting, or we get to this point where like they have no cards in hand, so Thoughtsies is a tough top deck, whereas like we are running them out of cards pretty reliably. Okay. Not great, but They have a rattle chain, so we're just dead. Well, that has back-to-back -back games where with one card, zero cards in hand, they, they found what they needed, but man, that game two. Would have liked that game two back, I think. Yes, we are very, we have such reckless hate against the Winota decks, because I think this kind of deck needs it. Otherwise, you do run the risk of just dying. Okay, so this looks like either Jeskai Ascendancy or uh, one of the Transmog decks, probably? I'm, I'm sorry, what now? Okay, I'm scared. Mom, I want to go home. I mean, they're they're not gonna have a monocolored spell, right? They wouldn't. Quasi duplicate. What are we duplicate? Prison reef. Wait, why did we play our land before expressive iterating here? This guarantees you can't get any second card. Botanical Sanctum gone forever. Castle Lockwind's a good one. Alright, alright. Ooh, 798 followers? Creeping ever closer to uh, 800. Their Omnath, huh? Hold on. One, two, four. I will get rid of this card that seems like it is not going to do much against this deck playing Omnath in four colors.
All right, you're up. Just gonna hopefully use these castles to win the game at this point. But six cards in hand from our opponent will be tricky. Unclaimed territory on elemental, I'm sure. Yeah. All right. We figured out what they are. Quasi duplicate on Risen Reef is gonna be a tough one for us to ever beat if that happens. Magic Online, you gotta stop. I really don't know why it's so unbelievably laggy today. Excuse me now. Okay. You have a uh, a spark trooper. All right. Well, we know they have a uh, we know they have a march in hand. So this soldier, this uh, samurai is not long for this world if they don't want it to be. Is took two makes sense. They have a functionally a million life at this point. No reason to rush anywhere. Okay. Leaf can druid. All right. Thunder can awaken her. Heh. 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 Oh no, whatever will we do? Damn, what a shame. Eh, 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 eh. Containment priest. Eh, eh, eh. Are we the bad guys? I feel like we're the bad guys. <laughs> Sam, no, don't look. <laughs> Sam, no. Oh. I may have thought Containment Priest was a 2-1. Yo, how's it going, Connor? How you doing? Can't promise that's what happened, but it might be what happened. Reading the card explains the card, but we don't do that here. Free our containment priest. Ooh. Containment priest into a Thunderkin Awakener is a, a rough beat for our opponent. Put this here. Put this on the on the white side since we have Urborg in play. I mean I assume they have all lands, but <laughs> oof. Oof. You can keep those uh Thunderkin Awakeners. Well, they can come in. Don't get blocked. Oh no. Okay. Thought it was an Omnath again. Cycle is much better. We'll take that one. Ugh. Man, we've had a bad day against Mono Blue Spirits. I gotta find a deck that's consistently good into it that isn't just playing four rending volleys. That's mostly just been my secret. Get in there. I'll take the one point because we might want to do this. 
We overtapped white, so we can't do this. That's okay, I'll just talk Anuma, pick up another uh, Wandering Emperor, if need be. What is this? Bark Trooper. All right, you're in there. Uh, we'll pick it back up. Not going to use the Wandering Emperor until they choose to block or not, because we can just, you know, give this first strike so they can't double block or. Oop. Uh, we could draw a Thoughtseize. Not a bad one. I'll take the Celestis. We're just really grinding them to dust here. Truly amassed the, uh, the white-black experience. Apparently, if you draw one knight card, you draw the other one. Every land on the battlefield taps for black, and I didn't tap for black mana there. I'm going to eat the, uh, the jumpstart spell here. Where's Mr. Bodingles? He's usually hiding out, but he might be asleep at this point. That's fine. Oh no. Oh no. What are we doing here? Lightning Axe, pay the full rate. Alright. Well, they can, uh,. Awakener, uh, Spark Trooper. <laughs> Wandering Emperor, real good. Then we just get to eat the Spark Trooper, so that won't keep happening. Nice. We also get to eat, just eat the Thundering Awakening. Thunder can awaken her. I mean, we also don't have to lose this. We just block, which is nice. Well, that went fine. I love that it has tap for black or tap for black. Thoughts isn't quite it. <laughs> Too good. Let's uh make it night so we can just like really shoot through this graveyard. Your opponent has discovered his new worst matchup. It's true. We're the bad guys. Our opponent's doing cool stuff and we're just the villains. We're just out here. Making it day, making it night, making it day. Choose not to loot. We get the life either way. All right. <laughs> that 
That was certainly not my opponent's uh, desired effect for that. All right, definitely want these. Want this, this. Dane's not great. Eh, there we go. Invoke seems kind of medium since they're going to be clogging the board. Ah, these Vanishing Verses. Not good. Open a bordered Force of Vigor out of my 4-1 chesties. Oh. The chests have been real good lately. We've been getting some good ones lately, too. Uh, we got that... Um... We got that full foil set of Zendikar Rising. A friend of mine opened a Ragavan today. They've just been sweet. Love to see it. Dude, I cannot figure out what's up with my throat today. I gotta get some water. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, at least that's a little better. Oh, we gotta get one of those hydrate buttons. Well, <clears throat> this on Elemental should probably be pretty good. Well, we do need to draw land at some point. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, that's a good one. Given that they're a four color deck, this should make all their land center tapped. You got like a chain of the rocks going? I'm not yet. Any fatal fable passages? Just want cards. A lot. Well, gotta get through these non lands. find some white sources but we showed the wandering emperor so it might dissuade them from attacking with omnath quasi duplicate just pay three mana draw a card that I mean, it's fine seems yeah so now we've just put the fear of us drawing a white source into them Love to see it. Now they can't attack or block. <laughs> they're just they're just trapped. Yeah, gain as much life as you want, friend. We'll kill you when we kill you. Ha! Ha! This card's illegal. Stop right there. You can have extra mana, but nothing to do with it. Nope. Stop. No deal. We just have the Hateful Pair right here. They know about the Wandering Emperor, so they can't attack. Q 
keep trying to hit some lands. Let's get rid of that quasi duplicate in the yard before this happens again. He lands. Oh, this was a mistake. I already cast a spell, so I can't fatal push. I'm now the fool. I wonder if they'll recognize the Archon. They did. I deserve that. I was like, oh, this is a free attack, but I had to attack first and then play good link. Oh, is this... I was going to say, if this is a... Uh, a uh, lot of acts, that'd be great. I am um, sure. I think I'd block here. Actually, no, I can just let this die and then fatal push it. It's fine. Hey, how's it going, Daniel? No. Thoughts oh, easier. Well, let's take the on that. You can keep that one. I'd like you not to do that, please. Good, playing Explorer with Four Color Hero. How's it been going? Sounded like a sweet one yesterday when you were telling me about it. Six and two? Very nice. Love to see it. Lost Winota and Angels. Those are definitely tough ones. Especially Winota. Risen Reef. That's illegal. I think good. Well. This game is close. It's true. It's true. This has been this has been a both teams fight hard kind of game. Draw an extra card. Oh, now I'll draw extra extra cards. Can't let them have Risen Reef with quasi uh quasi duplicate in the yard. Just not gonna happen. What do we got here? That was a shark typhoon? Oh, sure. Marsh is fine. I feel like there's a good chance they wanted to hit our life linkers so we don't just like draw 10 cards on them. I guess, no. This opens up the idea of like draw something and then quasi duplicate it next turn. Pay cost. <laughs> Spark Trooper in. A lad. Yeah, opponent's playing elementals. Just some Omnath things. Still Soren? Sure. Oh, that's a good one.
Imagine that an actual command. That would be that'd be a classic one. All right, we got the four one. Lost a really close one to a uh, K-pop fanboy on uh, mono blue, but otherwise deck felt really good. I was actually quite impressed with the the smoothest of this white black deck. Hey there, thanks for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed this content on either Twitch or YouTube. If you did, please like or subscribe. If you didn't, be sure to leave a comment down below. I promise not to read it. Until next time.